Hi there, and welcome to another pencast for the course Reasoning and Logic. This one is about the cardinality of sets, and proving that two sets have the same cardinality, in other words, the same size. For this video, we will consider the following two sets. The sets E, which contains all the even numbers, so all x that are divisible by 2, and or the set F, which contains all numbers that are multiples of 42. In other words, x can be written as 42 times some other integer. Now my claim is, unlikely as it may seem, that these two sets have the same size, the same cardinality. Now the question is, how do we prove that? Well, for that we're going to use a function. And might as well call this function g, that maps our elements from the set e two elements from the set f. Now let's have g of x be 21 times x. And let's take a look at what happens. What I want to prove is that this function is a bijection. That is, every element from e is mapped to exactly one element in f. Because if g is a bijection, and every element in e has exactly one in f, as well as the other way around, well then e and f must be the same size. So, how do we do that? Well, if g is a bijection, then it must be both injective and surjective. So let's prove both of these properties. And let's start by proving that g is injective. So what does that mean again? What does it mean for a function to be injective? Well, it means that for all a and b, if g a equals g b, then a must be equal to b. In other words, every point from E is mapped to a unique point of F. So, how do we prove that? Well, we take arbitrary A and B from the set E, such that G of A equals G of B. What does that mean? Well, if we take a look at our function, it means that 21A must be equal to 21B. In other words, if we divide both sides by 21, then we must conclude that a equals b. Perhaps this proof looks, looks relatively simple, but this is all we need to show to show that the function g is injective. Now what about surjectivity? What do we need to prove there? Well, for that we need to prove that for all a in f, so well, let's stick with the same letters, for all b in f, there is an a in e such that g of a equals b. In other words, every point in f has some point in e that maps onto it. So how does that work? Well, again, we take an arbitrary b, and now we need to show that there is an a in e that maps to this point b. Well, if b is in f, then we know that we can write b as 42 times some number. This is our definition of f, after all. It is all numbers divisible by 42. And if b is 42 times m, then it's 21 times 2 times m. And so, hang on, that means it's 21 times x, where x is some element from e because 2m is an even number and thus must be some element of e by definition of e. Aha! So that means that there is indeed an a such that g of a is b, namely a equals 2m in this case. And there you have it. We've proven that g is surjective. And since g is both injective as well as surjective, it must be bijective. And because g is a bijection, it must hold that the size of e, or the cardinality of e, is equal to the cardinality of f, qed. So, when you need to prove that the cardinality of two sets is the same, you should find a function a function that maps your elements from one set to another, and you should make sure that this is a bijective function. And after that, you should prove it. 
you should prove that your function is a bijection. Now is something for you to think about. Imagine that we want to prove that one set is smaller than another set. Could we also use a function for that? And if so, what kind of function should it be? Who knows? Perhaps the answer might pop up in another pet class, or maybe it will not. Regardless, I'll see you around for another one.